you started finasteride for the treatment of male pattern baldness, what will happen when you go off the drug? Will you get to keep the new hair that you've grown or will it all fall out again? The answer is coming up. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the HairGuard.com YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And guys, don't forget to click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz for personalised expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. And without any further delay, let's get into it. What happens when you stop taking finasteride? Are the hair gains that you might have experienced permanent or will all your new hair fall out? So how does finasteride work? Well, first things first. To answer this question, we need to understand finasteride's mode of action. Finasteride works by inhibiting an enzyme in our body called 5-alpha reductase. This enzyme is responsible for the conversion of testosterone to another hormone called DHT, which is short for dihydrotestosterone. Now, testosterone is the main male hormone, but our body also uses DHT in certain organs like the skin and prostate. DHT is necessary for normal male sexual development from gestation until around puberty, but unfortunately during adulthood it seems to exert a mostly negative influence. Its two most notable effects in adult males are A, causing the prostate to enlarge, and B, causing the hair follicles in the scalp to miniaturize, leading to male pattern baldness. Accordingly, finasteride is sold under two brand names, Propecia for the treatment of male pattern baldness, and Proscar, which is available at a higher strength for the treatment of benign prostate enlargement. Now let's look at finasteride's efficacy and half-life. Now finasteride is very efficient at blocking the production of DHT and lowering the concentrations of DHT, both in the blood and in the scalp, where it matters the most. At the standard one milligram dosage, it lowers DHT levels in the blood by around 70% and in the scalp by around 65%. These lower DHT scalp levels halt the follicle miniaturization process and allow hairs to resume the normal growth cycle. The result is that the male pattern baldness not only stops progressing, but some hair can actually also grow back. Finasteride is also a very fast acting drug. It takes a couple of hours to be absorbed and has a half-life of around five to seven hours. This means that about a week after you stop taking finasteride, it will be completely out of your system. The blood and scalp DHT will then return to their previous levels and this increased DHT will once again start attacking the hair follicles and the hair loss will resume. Now, guys, finasteride benefits won't last when you quit. Propecia will only give results for as long as you take it. That doesn't mean, of course, that your hair will start falling out again the day after you quit. Just like it takes at least three months to start seeing the benefits from taking Propecia, it will take a few months for any new hair you've grown to start falling out. But within six to 12 months of discontinuing Propecia, all the hair that you've grown back while on the drug will fall off again. And it won't matter if you were on Propecia for two, 10 or 20 years. Now guys, at its core, the problem with finasteride is that if it doesn't address the root cause of male pattern baldness, which is an increased susceptibility to the harmful effects of DHT on the hair follicle, all adult men have DHT circulating in their body and scalp, but only those with a predisposition to male pattern baldness will display follicle miniaturization and hair loss as the result of DHT action. Finasteride doesn't address this puzzle. It merely works by blocking this complex chain of male pattern baldness events at the second to last step, the stage where DHT is synthesized. Now this increased susceptibility to DHT is still a mystery and nobody can claim to have a full answer, but at least part of the solution, as we have explained at length elsewhere, might lie with scalp tension. If you haven't already done so, check out the video that we've linked to in the description below where we actually go in depth into scalp tension and it's linked to male pattern baldness. Now, what about the irreversible side effects that can begin after you quit finasteride? Now, getting back to our topic of the day, which is finasteride and what happens when you get off it. As we have just explained, the main effect of stopping the drug will be reversal of any benefits that you might have seen as a resumption of the pattern hair loss. But an unfortunate minority of finasteride users will start experiencing a cluster of symptoms that range from loss of libido, even impotence, shrinking of the genitals, skin thinning, depression, brain fog, and many more things. The cluster of symptoms has been labeled post-finasteride syndrome. For reasons that nobody yet understands, getting off finasteride triggers an avalanche of neuroendocrine events in these men, and their system can never fully recover. These effects are sadly believed to be irreversible, though the severity of the symptoms does decline with time. 
A number of these men are believed to have taken their own lives as a result of not being able to live. So guys, is the trade-off worth it? If you're watching this video because you're considering starting Finasteride, then I hope you found this video useful. We've laid out all the facts for you and hopefully you can make an informed decision on whether or not this is the right choice for you. You have, on the one hand, a pretty prospect of holding the progression of boldness with the simple pill that you have to take once a day. And on the other hand, you have the understanding that this pill is not addressing the root cause of the problem, but merely masking the effects, albeit quite effectively. So you know that treatment with Propecia must be for life if you want to continue to enjoy a decent head of hair. And you need to factor in the small possibility is that once you stop finasteride, you may experience some very serious and more or less permanent side effects. So guys, that's all we have for you today. Let us know about your experience with finasteride in the comments. We really want to hear from you guys. Were you on finasteride? What did you notice after you stopped taking it? How long did it take the new hair to grow? And so on. Guys, this was Leon from hairguard.com.